What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and I Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcast info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah. That we like, I hit my man up. I was like, yo, we're going to be there at such and such time. And um, we get out there. Um, we land. Uh, matter of fact, before we even get to, to Memphis, we land in ATL for a layover. My man Dre called me on the phone. Hey, I heard you're going to be in Memphis this weekend. I was like, yeah, man, me and my homie were flying out there. He was like, if you need anything, let me know. And it's like, bam. If you need anything, let me know. If you need me, come. I was like, we think about getting. A, I was thinking about renting a car. It's like, if you don't rent a car, let me know. I'm 30 minutes from the airport. So, again, it's not so often that you find people like that. And hell, I've known Dre since Manhunt. That's more than 30 years, bro. Wow, more than 30 years. And it's like you know, we don't chop it up that much. Like, I think the last time I talked to him was probably like, like actually talked to him Mm -hmm. was probably like two, like two years ago, maybe. Wow. And he heard I was coming in town. He was on the phone. Yo, you need anything? Let me know. And it's like, again, is like, like you were saying, you probably ain't seen somebody for a while. And it's like, when you link up, you link up and it's like, yo, I don't fuck with too many people out where I'm at right. for that very reason. Cause motherfucker, the jokers is fake and, and, and I can't stand, can't stand it because it's like, yo, people claim to be real, claim to be your boy, claim to be this, claim to be that. But then it's like jokers just change or, or, or they was never real in the beginning. Yeah. That, that shit is crazy, man. Cause I've I had some uh, relatives, actually, that I told them I was coming in town. I'm just hollering at you, see how you're doing. And then when I get in town, oh, oh okay, this popped up, that popped up. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying yep, things don't. That's always the case. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, if you couldn't have made it, you could have said that on the phone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't have me wasting my time. Um, trying to be in a location that's easy for you to get to, and then when I'm in that location, oh, you can't make it for whatever reason. Right. You know, I don't give a damn if I'm if someone else came in town and they, you know, holler at me like that. I don't give a damn. If I only got three minutes, I'm gonna come through and at least, you know, see you I'm face to give face, you that wrap it up minutes. right quick, right? Let you know if you need anything. I'm here. So and so and so and so came up, but. Uh, I'll get back with you some along those lines, but right. I don't get why people do that. Don't, don't play with me like that, bro. You know, we, ain't, we grown men over here. We don't do shit like that. Yeah. We, we just grown men, period. Like we grown, like you ain't even, you, you don't even have to act, act all fake and funny and, and all of that. Like that shit crazy. Um, so what do you think about when, People say you grow apart. What do you think about that? Oh, man. That's a hard one. I was actually thinking about that one today because I was thinking about one of my closest friends. Um, me and him actually were, were at one point considered best friends. And I looked at him like a brother, but 
We don't call each other anymore. We don't even hit each other up on Facebook anymore. And mm. I don't know what it is, man. It, it, it's kind of weird and shit. Because knowing how tight we used to be to what we are now, it's a world of difference. And, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll comment on his his page or, you know, his, his folks page sometimes. And I don't hear anything else back from him. So, you know, I pretty much got mm. to the point where, okay, if that's how you feel, then, you know, let it be known. Then I got the message without getting the message. So I don't really, you know, rock with him like that anymore. You know, we mm. still, on my side, we cool. But for whatever reason, you know, he has an issue. And if you can't be man enough to tell me what the issue is, then, you know, the hell with it then, bro. But, yeah. Yeah. I was, um... I was thinking about that and I was thinking about it in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to a degree, people can grow apart. But then again, on, in certain situations, it's like either a person really didn't rock with you like that or something happened that's not discussed. Um, or it could be you were only linked, bonded, or whatever for uh, uh, whatever beneficial aspect that either that one person had with the other person. Um, maybe for a connection to somebody else or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I, I kind of look at it like if... Because I, I kind of see this with, with people who are just like casual friends, as they would call it. Mm -hmm. um, they really don't have too much between them that keeps them together. So it's like when, when, when the mutual interest is gone, whatever friendship they had goes with it. And it's like, if I see you, if I see you, if not, I'm not thinking about you. Right. Um, so to a, to, to a degree, I think people can grow apart, but. I just, I just kind of think that if you grow apart from someone, sometimes more than likely they really just did not rock with you like that. Um, because you see it in relationships because it's like, like when people talk about marriages or, or whatever the case may be, any type of relationship between two people, it's like you have to work to keep it going. And if you're not going to work to keep it going, then it's definitely going to fail. Definitely. I mean, the thing about it is, again, on type, if I do something, let me know I did something. We can talk about it. But if I did something or if you heard something, you know, if you didn't discuss it with me, then how do you know, how do you know it's true? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, again, you're going off of secondhand information. So how can mm -hmm. you base an honest, you know, opinion about a subject or whatever it is? without checking with me first, meaning coming straight to a horse, hearing it out my mouth. But, um, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I get it that over time people do separate and, you know, grow apart and go their own ways. Um, I will say, again, that's the first person that I've ever been tight with that we've actually grown apart um, to that mm -hmm. extent. And... Right. You know, again, it's not on my side. It's for whatever reason on his side. So I I, I have no hate against it or mm -hmm. against him or towards him or his family. It's like, you know, do your thing, bro. I'm, I'm always happy to see you uh, do your thing or doing well. So um, when you have people who just grow apart, like with a marriage situation like that, it's usually because they can't identify with the person that their mate is growing into. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like good point. Whether it's it's a positive thing or a negative thing in their light or in their eyes, you know, they'll say, Well, you changed. Mm. And it was like no one stays the fucking same. Everybody grows the fuck up or have different, <laughs> right. you know, goals or <laughs> things of that, you know, nature. And if you want somebody who's going to stay the, the same all their life, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Like, I really don't. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's one of those cases where somebody grows up and somebody doesn't. Right. Um, so in that aspect, yeah, I guess people can grow apart. Um, what was I going to say? Um, but you know, when you when you have these type of situations, though, like like you were saying, that's what I was going to say. Like you were saying. If I did something, tell me I did something. Don't have me guessing. And matter of fact, I recently had this happen to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I got a text on Friday. Well, <laughs> this is what happened. I ran into a conversation to where it was said, hey, did you tell so-and-so? tell so-and-so what like I didn't plan on doing x y and z so what was I supposed to tell this person so then I had got a text saying oh thanks for telling me telling you what and then the response was well if you gotta ask that then you already know what I'm talking about and it's like what I'm saying to myself <laughs> what the hell are you talking about and 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 the crazy thing about that is this usually happens from females. Um, you know, because if it's between dudes, either a dude going to tell you or a dude's going to say, you know what? It ain't even it ain't even worth talking about. But for females, they'll come at you and they'll say something and then you ask them what they're talking about and they'll say, oh, well, if you got to ask this, you already know. No, if I'm asking this, I don't know. So it's like, it's it's stuff like that with me that, that kind of puts a wedge between us because it's like, I don't, I shouldn't have to play these guessing games. Right. With you. If I did something or if you think I did something, tell me what I did or what you think I did so we can have a conversation about it. Um, but for me, the minute that you come at me with some stupidness, conversation is really dead. I really have nothing to say about that because if if you expect me to be real with you, then I need you to be real with me. Um, and if you want me to give you that respect, then you have to give it back because I, again, I'm not playing these games because they kiddie games. And it's like, I just can't do it, man. I can't. Yeah. I mean, the thing about it again, like you said, is, Talking about what? What? You, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just right. simply say what the fuck it is. Just simply say what it is, and we can go, you know, with a conversation from there. But don't don't put me in a position where I gotta guess, cause that's showing your immaturity right there. I'm sorry. Um, I, I'd rather just have a an adult conversation about what it is you feel I may have or did not do. Right. If we're really friends or we really down or rock with each other like that, then, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. You know, when you call a friend out or have that conversation with a friend, it's because you're fucking friends or, you know, like I said, right. brothers or sisters. So it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, you might be mad or upset at the time, but at least you got the shit off your fucking chest. Right. And, and got a clear understanding of what may have been the issue. Yep. Because if you're not telling me nothing, I don't know nothing. And I'm not going to guess. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I'm not going to guess. I, I, nah. We're not kids. Nah, we're not doing that. So, um, but yeah, that, that, that falls back into having real people around you. Um. The one thing that I am not now realizing, but is becoming more of a problem to me, is when that shit comes from family, like your blood, 